Hi teachers, Mr. Riedel here. So I have my iPad here and um, I've been having several students who can't get into my classroom on my Zoom links uh, because I have a Bitmoji classroom. And some of you I know don't have Bitmoji classrooms and you still have students that can't get in to your Zoom classes. And I think I've figured out a solution for that. So let me show you uh, what I discovered. I have been learning a lot about Clever. Um, I have zero training on Clever. Uh, I just know that it works really well with my elementary kids who are in a different district. And I really like Clever, um, but I wanna figure out how it can be useful for our middle school students here in Reynolds. And I found a lot of problems with using it with the iPad because like I log into Clever and then it doesn't open certain apps that aren't in Clever. And um, basically what I've discovered is that um, most of this stuff can be done in Clever and some problems is when like we put Zoom links into Schoology. Long story short, basically they can't open the link to my virtual classroom, which has the Zoom links in it. And it doesn't work because of the fact that it's trying to go through Clever, through Schoology, into my virtual classroom, into the Zoom link. So there's just too many steps. So what I want to show you is how to put the Zoom links or put your virtual classroom, if you use a Bitmoji classroom like me, right into Clever. So it makes it easier for the students to get to. And the district wants us to go through Clever, so I think it's going to help everybody. So uh, if you log into Clever as a teacher, you go to clever.com. You can see this at the top, clever.com slash in slash rsd7. You can sign in as a teacher and then it brings you to this page. Uh, what I've been doing is giving my students this URL, clever.com slash in slash, slash rsd7 uh, to get them in. Uh, or they just use the Clever app on their iPads. Anyway, you log in as a teacher and it looks a little different than with the students. You have your own teacher page as a, as a teacher that you can go in and edit and um, uh, personalize it so that it's your own. Uh, so what I did, originally it had some like weird owl profile picture here for mine, but I changed it to my Bitmoji picture and I renamed it. It used to say A Riedel, uh, A Riedel's page, but now it, I changed it to Mr. Riedel's page. And I go in here and all of my students have access to this page. And so I just put my virtual classroom link in here. And when they go through this on their iPad, they can click on this and it works much better than other than going through Schoology. Um, with some students, they were going through Clever and it was like they click on my, my Bitmoji classroom and it had like a blank white screen and it wouldn't work for Zoom because I like to put my Zoom links in my virtual classroom. So like if you click on this and you go to it, uh, the student will see that it's my Bitmoji classroom and then they can click on the Zoom links here. And that wasn't working if I put this link in through Schoology. So, so I'm gonna have my students go here to get to my virtual classroom instead. Um, but for those of you who don't have virtual classrooms, you can just put your Zoom links right here, like I did here for an example. I'll probably delete these after I'm done with this video so that I just have one quick and easy link. Um, but for those of you who don't have a virtual classroom, you can just, you can add a new link here. So you just click add a link and you can link it to whatever you want. You just paste the URL here and then give it a name and then it puts it right here. So um, the reason this one has a Zoom, a Zoom logo here is because I edited this all these are Zoom links here. I just edited this and then I just found a Zoom picture and I just uploaded it uh, onto the page. Let me find it really quick here. So I found it, I uploaded it and it's right here and then I just saved the link and then it changed it to Zoom. So I just found that logo online to make it look prettier than these books. It doesn't really make sense to have books for a Zoom link. so. But anyway, you can also add apps for your class. And so it will be easy access for students to use whatever they want. Um, I don't know why there's two Schoology apps. I'll probably try and figure out which one is the better one, or maybe they're both the same, I don't know. Office 365 is where they can go to access Word, to sign in, 
sign in through Clever to get to Word and PowerPoint and um, Outlook. And um, the only thing that doesn't work out of the Office 365 stuff is Teams. So I'm just planning on telling my students to use the Teams app in their iPad because that's been working pretty well for most of my students. Uh, and then there is no IXL app, so I just added a link to IXL.com and I'll probably edit that so that it has the IXL logo also. Um, but that's just a, a link to the website. Um, you could also put other teachers' virtual classrooms on here, like if you're in a house with another teacher or something. I practice by putting Mrs. Dean's virtual classroom here. Um, so that goes straight to hers. But really, the students should be able to just go back and right next to my page will be their other teacher's page. So that's what I recommend you guys do is to, uh, for the students that have trouble because they're trying to do it properly by going in through Clever, just like the district wants them to, um, they need to be able to access your Bitmoji classroom if you have a virtual classroom or just straight up your Zoom links if they're having troubles going through Schoology, okay? so. I hope you guys can log in and take advantage of that. I think this is really cool. The more I'm learning about this, I wish I had training on it so I could learn all the ins and outs of it. Uh, and hopefully one day we will. And um, then we'll all be on the same page. So let me know if you have questions about Clever and getting in there. I'm gonna start using it a little bit more because it seems to work better for students who are signing in through Clever to get to their Zoom links and virtual classrooms. All right, thanks for watching.